I'm fresh eyes to this industry. I've only been in an environment where big companies have been part of my life for the last decade. Prior to that, it was only entrepreneurship in Silicon Valley, and so it's been it's been an amazing journey for me the last half decade in watching what what is put on a pedestal in an environment when you don't see every dollar spent where it goes to, what happens when you fall too deep into just caring about the value of every dollar in the short term. It's, you know, to, to be honest, to, for my DNA, it's a bizarro world. You know, an industry that goes to the south of France to celebrate itself on subjective creative and uses those awards to justify hundreds of millions of dollars in spend is fascinating. <laughs> it is. You know, and I think the giggles, and the giggles come from a deep understanding of the truth. You know, and so here we are in 2019, whether in the UAE, America, Europe, all over the world, you have, you have a game of two individuals. You have people who are spending money and it's not their business, and you have people that are spending money and that's how they feed their family. And those two people, the way they spend their money and what they believe in have never been more opposite than today. And that's what I'm fascinated by. The people that are incentivized of the health of the business in the short and long term versus the people that are incentivized on the KPIs within the machine that they have to navigate through. I deploy empathy. I used to judge a lot of people in this room on paper a decade ago. I thought I was smarter. I know I'm not smarter. I just know that I'm playing a different game. I'm running a marathon in perpetuity. I put out content to be historically correct so I can trade on reputation in a decade, not on what pays my bills in the short term. So I have the advantage of the framework that I've stumbled into within this environment, but it doesn't make it any less true. 